hello, hello. Well, I guess the talk around these Poshmark streets is that there was a fireside chat the other night. And from what I'm hearing, it didn't go over well with a lot of resellers. I was not able to get a ticket. Um, as with the SEO training or the next fireside chat, they were the tickets were sold out or there weren't any more seats available. So um, these are this is a very very important to resellers and I, I can I can completely understand why. You know, when your livelihood is at stake, you want you want answers. You want to know what you can do, what you can change to increase or just get back on track with your sales. And from a couple of videos that I watched with the recaps of the fireside chat, there was talk of or there's a belief that one of the reasons that sales have slowed down is because there's they rotate closets in the search now my personal belief is that they have always done the rotating of the closets in the search it just depended on how big of a closet you had you know what kind of influence you had with Poshmark and I think now everyone is starting to see that oh well they maybe they do do the rotation of the closets um, there was another reseller that I can't remember her name right now but she had made a video and she was asking you know did anybody have this this um, a ceiling where they have on Poshmark where they can't seem to get past a certain amount and I had commented and I say yeah you know I I haven't been able to get past X amount of dollars on Poshmark ever since I started mind you it's a good it's a good amount of money no complaints you know, it's, it's part-time money so again no complaints there but she had made this video a couple of years ago at this point and there were people who were like, no, that doesn't happen. They don't rotate. And I think a, a lot of times why it wasn't hurting the bigger closets was because at the time, Poshmark, and I, I'm not trying to be callous here, they needed them to build their platform. Now that they no longer, they, well, I don't want to say they don't need, but now that they are a publicly traded company, they have other people's money to play with, people who have millions of dollars to invest. So they have their money to play with and they have these big brands that have closets on the site now. So, you know, whether they tell us or not, it's it's a pretty much a given that they're probably giving them priority over all the other closets. And I know that can be very frustrating and you, you, just, you know because again it's your business it's your livelihood so instead of you know being so upset about it what can you do as a reseller to try to pivot and try to make the best of the situation because you know they're, they're talking six months uh, if you read between the lines <laughs> before they can figure this out and I'm not trying to make light of the situation but I know there's a lot of people who do depend on this money and so maybe now is a really good time for all of us who do resell on Poshmark to think about how we can possibly pivot and do other things outside of Poshmark to bring in money because but this is this is not something that's going to end. This is going to continue as these brands flock to these platforms to sell their inventory. You know, the same thing happens on is is happening on eBay and the same thing happens on Amazon. So it's just now it's reached Poshmark and people are starting to fill it. And of course, you're not going to like it. So again, just what can you do as a reseller to try to pivot 
and make this work to to your benefit and I know again this is <laughs> this is not ideal it sucks you know I, I've had many one of many nights and going round and round in my mind like hey what can I do what can I do what can I do you know maybe I'll try this maybe I'll try that to no avail so I'm again I'm not making light of this I just I know it's difficult and I know you, you get really frustrated but instead of you know take that frustration and see if you can turn it into something positive for yourself and your business because again I honestly do not see this changing anytime soon and now that these companies or these these platforms have are that they're publicly traded companies and they have other people's money to play with they're gonna their loyalty is to them it's to the business it's so you know us resellers or smaller resellers even the ones that have bigger closets we're we're gonna be, be the ones to feel the pinch so that's all i have for you guys today try to stay positive try to you know make those adjustments in your business where you can and going forward maybe it's not reselling maybe it's maybe it's other things you know myself I am going into other ventures outside of reselling. I'm I'm not going to give up reselling completely, but I I I knew that I had to make a change with the way things were going and all the rules that they had started putting in place and not not Poshmark, but eBay and Amazon because I I sell on Amazon as well. And just seeing the changes and how they were going to affect resellers or excuse me, small resellers. <laughs> so I've had to make adjustments there and, you know, make some decisions and figure out going forward, what am I going to do? And I encourage everyone who is a reseller, especially on Poshmark, to venture out and, and see what else can you do outside of reselling so you don't have to worry about a platform making (laughs) drastic changes um, at a moment's notice and without telling you or notifying you so that's all i have you guys have a great day talk to you soon